Look at asbestos in our schools. The cancer-causing material has been found in almost 2,000 school buildings across the state. At West Haven High School, a recent construction project is at the center of parents' concerns about asbestos exposure. News 8's Stephanie Simone has the investigation. The Department of Public Health has an open investigation to see if proper procedures were followed here at West Haven High. With nearly 2,000 schools across the state with asbestos, we look to see what West Haven did and what all school districts should be doing. You are looking at cancer-causing asbestos at West Haven High School. These are pictures from a report commissioned by the Board of Education. Exposure to asbestos can cause cancer up to 30 years down the road. Awful. Disturbing. I was never informed. Asbestos has been well documented in West Haven High School for several years, and the installation of some new surveillance cameras stirred up new concerns for parents. I'm really worried now. Like, they never told me anything. Last June, Mayor Ed O'Brien says the city hired High Tech Electricom to put in about 100 new cameras. We select them just because they knew the school. A West Haven Board of Education member says seven months after the work, Richard Dunn, who was hired by the Board of Ed to do routine checks of the asbestos at the high school, noticed the cameras and started to investigate. In February, he released his findings, and the report landed on a popular West Haven social media page. The more shares it got, the more concerns grew. The report stated asbestos was disturbed and an asbestos management planner did not oversee the work as required by Connecticut and EPA regulations. Why didn't you choose a company that had a professional who is licensed in asbestos abatement? I believe that's a decision that's made by the Board of Ed. Members of the Board of Education referred me to the mayor, so I pressed him again. So why wasn't an abatement specialist called in? Because one was called in on a prior project at the same in the same area. Mayor O'Brien believes the, the Dunn report is inaccurate, and with it being an election year, he believes it could have been politically motivated. And they weren't disturbing any asbestos in this project. They were using the same holes that they used. There was no drilling. The Dunn report talks about wires being pulled that weren't pulled, holes being drilled that weren't drilled. It shows pictures of areas that w there was no work done on. Um, so the Dunn report, I think, again, and I'll, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it was a flawed report. Dunn refused to comment on his work. In April, the mayor hired ChemScope to look into the situation. That report stated the damage could have been caused prior to the project. The two reports do agree on one thing, though. A licensed asbestos professional was never hired for the job. I was very surprised because usually in a school this wouldn't happen. Mark Constantini has almost 20 years of experience when it comes to asbestos cleanup with his company, CPM Environmental. That includes working in many schools. Every report has what's called the chain of custody. To get a better understanding of what's going on here, we asked him to look over both reports. The individuals that did that work weren't licensed or trained to handle asbestos. It's pretty clear. Constantini says even though air quality reports came back clean, he thinks dust wipe sampling should also be done. You're testing the actual surface where the you know, contamination could, could be there, could be physically there. Um, an air sample is just what's in the air. He believes at the end of the day, West Haven should have hired an asbestos specialist and questions if the Asbestos Hazard Emergency Response Act, or AHERA, was followed. These are federal laws schools with asbestos must follow. If not, districts can face fines. These regulations are in place to protect our children, our teachers, and uh, they need to be taken seriously. Do you feel like the district was compliant with the AHERA Act? Yes. City officials say they will consider hiring a licensed asbestos contractor to oversee future projects at the high school. I think that, uh, you know, anytime that we should be working in a school now, I'm sure that we're going to look into having a hygienist on scene to, uh, to make sure that everybody feels comfortable with it. The Department of Public Health sent a statement. It read in part, quote, there is no reason to believe the school population was exposed to asbestos as a result of the work done on this project. Parents just want safety procedures followed. If they did or they circumvented something, then they messed up. Always better safe than sorry. We reached out to the Environmental Protection Agency. They would not say whether or not they are investigating this incident. We also reached out to the contractor who did the work, High Tech Electricom's Richard Shea. He also declined to comment. In West Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.